a UFO one-stop shop website? Business Today have posted about this new website that all of the UFO information is going to be going on. So let's check it out. So classified UFO videos to be released in public as Pentagon launches new website for AARO program. You can now bid farewell to drip feed of information on UFOs. In a groundbreaking move, the US Defense Department has introduced the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office website, Arrow, for the disclosure of declassified unidentified aerial phenomena which is UAPs, information commonly known as unidentified flying objects, UFO, which UFO will forever be better than UAP in my opinion. Arrow's purpose will serve as a central repository for declassified UAP data, videos and information. Its primary goal is to provide the public with convenient access to a treasure trove of UFO related data. Video collection. The website boasts an extensive collection of official UAP videos. These include close encounters documented by US Navy jet crews to captivating footage recorded from the cockpits of fighter jets. Categories of UAP videos. Videos are meticulously categorized to enhance understanding. Some fall into the unresolved category, indicating the arrow lacks a definitive explanation. Others are unclassified, but come with possible explanations such as sensor artifacts, caused by video compression. Whistleblower testimonies. The website has been established after the United States Congress convened a public hearing in July to investigate allegations of government secrecy regarding a long-standing program dedicated to the retrieval and reverse engineering of unidentified flying objects. During this hearing, three retired military veterans provided testimony before House Oversight Subcommittee. NASA's exploration of UFOs. In June, NASA unveiled footage of an unidentified flying object observed flying over the Middle East. This marked NASA's inaugural public meeting dedicated to the examination of unexplained anomalous phenomena during which they presented footage of a spherical UFO in flight over the Middle East. So this is also available on this website. The Curious Cases of UFOs, or the Curious Case of UFOs, shall I say, according to Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick, the ex-director of Arrow, there has been a notable increase in the number of reported unidentified aerial phenomena cases. The tally stood at 650 cases during the April hearing, which subsequently escalated to 800 cases by the NASA meeting held on May 31st. Furthermore, the data indicates a steady influx of 50 to 100 new cases each month. Notably, Dr. Kirkpatrick's assessment suggests that only a small fraction, approximately 2 to 5% of these reported cases, are genuinely anomalous and defy conventional explanation. Of course, that goes without saying that a lot of these things will be perfectly explainable and just simply misunderstood. However, there will always be some that can't be explained. Why? Well, maybe because they are actually visiting us. Who knows? Okay, what's next? So Arrow's mission. Under the current leadership of Kathleen Hicks, Arrow is on a mission to address UAP through a rigorous scientific framework and data-driven approach. Its objectives include refining data collection methods, standardizing reporting procedures, and mitigating potential safety and security concerns posed by UAPs. So that's good because as we've heard, said many times during that Congress hearing and by Ronnie in the Rendlesham Forest video that I did. If you report a UAP and you're in the RAF, for example, it's seen as career suicide. And that shouldn't be the case. Think about how many unexplained phenomena have gone unreported for fear of humiliation, for fear of loss of job, for fear of loss of your own integrity your own dignity your own credibility so yeah it's good that you know they're standardizing a reporting procedure more updates since its establishment in july of 2022 arrow has made significant strides in understanding uap the website serves as an essential platform for regular updates on arrow's ongoing work and discoveries public engagement arrow encourages active public engagement and reporting of uap sightings the organization has said that it is committed to transparency in its pursuit of unraveling the mystery surrounding unidentified aerial phenomena very interesting now I've discussed this kind of stuff for a while now. It's certainly piqued my interest, especially since the Rendlesham investigations. If you haven't seen those, go and check out my Rendlesham investigations. They're, they're a lot of fun. 
and the first episode of the podcast, the drip podcast that I did with Ronnie, who is a Rendlesham Forest enthusiast. So if that sounds like your bag, definitely go and check it out. But with all this stuff, I've been talking about it a lot. I've been seeing your comments. I've been talking about it on live streams. I've been I've been talking about it in videos and I've been seeing your comments. And a lot of people think that this is all about distraction. It's a distraction tactic it's to get us talking about this stuff instead of talking about other things. And whilst I understand without a doubt, without a doubt, distraction is certainly a tactic that is employed by governments governments to get us divided, to get us talking and arguing about things. Totally understand that. I totally get that. However, and this is a big however for me, looking at this through a different lens, looking at this through a, a lens that believes in UFOs. I do. I believe in aliens. Aliens exist. They're just mathematically impossible for them not to, right? Now, you could say, yeah, they, they're just amoebas on other planets. It takes millions and millions and millions of years of evolution, blah, blah, blah. But the universe has been around a lot longer than us, so it's entirely possible that there are evolution trees out there on different planets that predate us and that have got to a technology logical advancement stage where they can visit us or could be interdimensional you know we don't understand much we think we understand everything we don't understand much and maybe it's all multi-dimensional it's all interdimensional it's all extra dimensional so many dimensional things and they can just pop in, pop out as they please through time, through space, whatever. We don't understand. We don't know. But the thing is, I do think that some of these things that have been seen are extraterrestrial beings. And with that in mind, the fact that they're releasing all of this information, I know you can say, well, why now? But the fact that they are releasing this information, you know, a lot of people are like, well, it's a distraction. Well, why can't it be? And a lot of people go, oh, you're so naive. Why can't it be that they're just being more transparent now? Maybe there are so many sightings. Maybe there is so much contact with extraterrestrial beings that they're like, we can't contain this anymore. We can't keep this under wraps. Or maybe they know that it's not that much of a threat to keep under wraps. You know, we think, oh, they'll come here, they'll destroy us, they'll come here, they'll enslave us. Maybe humans are a violent species. And maybe other species out there aren't. They're like, you kill each other. Why? We just expand our knowledge. We just want to learn. We just want to help other species along. Maybe the pyramids. Who knows? But we, you know, instantly, oh, they're going to come here. They're going to Independence Day. They're going to destroy us. You know, maybe that's not their, maybe that's not their jam. Maybe that's our jam. Maybe we're the violent, horrible species. And they're just kind of observing from afar because they're like, oh, shit, these absolute lunatics have split the atom. And they are now a bit of a threat, to be honest, which is why maybe there was a massive uptake in UFO sightings after we split the atom, you know. But this is all just me thinking out loud, you know. I love the fact that there is now a website. I look forward to checking out the website. I'm not going to check out the website in this video. If you'd like me to check out the website, I will do. We'll have a little look through in a video. But I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy for transparency. I know there's going to be comments. Oh, you're a fool. They're distracting you. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're just being transparent. Maybe they're just like, ah, fuck it. They know that they're out there. They've seen the videos. So let's just show them what we've got. Maybe no food. Maybe not the reverse engineering that they're allegedly been doing. You know, Bob Lazar, all that good stuff. But maybe they're just showing us some stuff. You know, they're just like, ah, do you know what? I feel like maybe it's been a bit counterintuitive, counterproductive that we've been vilifying and humiliating people that claim to have seen UFOs when, you know, maybe we've missed out on documenting some UFO stuff that we could have learnt from and that we could have, you know, progressed from, learnt from. So maybe they're like, look, let's put this in place. Let's allow them to document them in a secure manner, in a manner that isn't humiliation, isn't defamation of character, isn't going to harm careers. And just see what they've got. See see what comes forward. 98% of it going to be horseshit. 98% of it is going to be weather balloons. 98% of it is going to be grainy footage of light refraction and stuff but there's always that small percentage oh wait a minute what the fuck was that how did that do that we can't do that hmm yeah i'm happy that this website is available i'm gonna be checking it out i'm looking forward to it if you'd like to see me check it out i will please hit that like button helps the video helps the algorithm comment your thoughts down below i look forward to reading them thank you so much i hope that you enjoyed this video I enjoyed taking a little dive into Arrow and seeing what it's all about. 
Thank you to Business Today for putting together that little presentation. Thanks, guys. If you enjoyed that, let me know down below. Hit that like button, all that good stuff. If you'd like to become a patron, support the content you can for as little as a pound or a dollar a month. And if you do that, you can be the patron of the day, just like Clayton Mitchell. Clayton, thank you so much for being a patron. I appreciate you and I appreciate all my patrons. And if you'd like to become a patron, you can for as little as a pound or a dollar a month. You get lots of bonus stuff. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. See you very soon. Sweet one. Yes.